Okay, um, <laughs> let's see if I remember how to do this. Um, I feel like every time I'm on Twitch, it's like 
it's like ah what am i supposed to be doing but anyway hey everybody um today is a very special day a very special stream because my this right here it's right here i can never get this right my album second chances <laughs> is out on all streaming platforms now so you can you know listen to it on spotify apple music Amazon Music, wherever it is that you get your music, um, you can listen to it now, which is really exciting. And then there's a link in the chat right here. You know, these these things are like, invi like they're like on the screen. So it's like, I can't really see them. Um, but anyway, yeah. So today, you know, it's just a just a little cel just celebration of this album and uh, the fact that it's out already. Um, it's it, it's it's really cool that it's out actually. Um, I feel like this is something that I've been working towards for uh, such a such a long a long time. And so yeah, I am just really really excited, really glad that it's out. Um, worked really hard on it um spent a lot of a lot of time a lot of um you know just a lot of time on it so yeah I'm just I'm really grateful that it's finally out um and you can listen to it stream it do whatever um enjoy it um and yeah it is it is out um so what I kind of was planning on doing tonight um because I, I already did a version of this uh, a couple of days ago on Earth Alive, which is another website that I stream on from time to time. Um, I've been doing this thing called the Indie Spotlight there, which is, uh, you know, just every um, every other Wednesday, you know, just get on and do like about an hour of music. Um, it's a very, very different format than Twitch for sure. Much less interactive. Um, but yeah, so I figured that what I would do tonight is just, um, play the songs of the album. By playing, I mean like perform them and talk a little bit about them. And maybe while, you know, while we get started, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do this with every single song, but I'll do it with a few. Um, I'm actually, let's see should have prepared for this a little bit better um let's see where is this mm. hmm. hold on a sec i'm trying to remember how you how do you even do this um no this is not correct There we go. This is what I wanted. So yeah. Um, mm -hmm. There we go. This this is this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to. Um, okay. I'm not sure if I'm even doing a... <laughs> The thing that the thing that I'm wanting to do, I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right, but um, let's see. There we go. That in a very weird way should do it, I think. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to just play the title track uh, from Spotify real quick. Um, and then, yeah, just, you know, just take it from there.
Anywho, so that is uh that is well, that is the song Second Chances. That is the uh first track of the album. Um and uh yeah, I uh, I really like it a lot cuz I feel like it just I don't know, it just has this like has this energy to it and I I really 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 like that a lot about it. Um let's see. I'm going to play this exact song now actually. Um and interestingly enough, so Second Chances is actually it's actually in the album twice. Um, it is uh, once as you know, just like the version that you just heard. The the um, well, when I when I was when I was putting this together, I was calling a rock version and then acoustic version, which is exactly what they are. Um, but yeah, that you have the acoustic version and you have the rock version, and so. Yeah, I uh, I really really like both of them a lot. They're both they're both great, and so um, yeah, second chances is a song that I wrote. Um, you know, if, if you all remember, I uh, was in the hospital last year with a heart condition, and um, you know, it was just it was just it was a really 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 difficult time in in my life just in general, and so I. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was a hard time for me. And so, um, when I got out of the hospital, I wrote this song, Second Chances, um, you know, as a, uh, you know, just kind of like my, my way of coping with, with all of it. Um, hold on one sec. I forgot, I forgot to do something. Yeah, it was just it was my my way of coping with um, what happened and having been in the hospital and all of that. And so, yeah, I uh, I got out and then I started, you know, started doing what I do, which is which is just it's writing. And so I ended up writing this this song particularly and then a whole bunch of other ones um interestingly enough i had already been kind of in the works of an album but i didn't really have like a title for it i had a i had a couple songs that i really a few songs that i really really wanted to record and put together maybe in an ep and then in fact this album actually started as an ep um originally it was supposed to be an ep with five songs it was going to be second chances let me see if i can remember this right it was going to be second chances fly away um i think las cruces new mexico was going to be one of the other ones and burgers and fries i think was also going to be one of the other ones and summer rain um I think, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was just those actually, uh, were supposed to be the, uh, you know, the, the songs that were, um, going to be on there. And fortunately I, uh, you know, ended up adding more songs and writing more songs. And, um, I, I re re recorded a couple songs that have been previously released, um, and gave him kind of like a second life, um, or a second chance in life, I should say. Um, and so, yeah, it, yeah, it was just, you know, just kind of became this, this fun journey. And, uh, I've been working really, really hard on this album the last, um, I don't know, like eight or nine months. 10 months, almost a year. Cause I started really working on this album in, in August. Um, around August is when I started like working, working on it. And I finished everything in February. I think it was like the end of February is when, when I, when I finished every, like, you know, every song and, and uh, yeah. And it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. It is really crazy the way that, it, that it turned out. But, um, the song is called Second Chances, and again, this is this is the, the title track of the album, and um, I hope you like it. Oh, and by the way, every single one of these songs, um, 
are officially on my song list. Not every song of the album was before because I was trying to keep some things a mystery, but there is no need for a mystery anymore. Anyway, again, this is Second Chances. Never thought my world would come crashing down the way it did. I felt the weight of the world and I couldn't breathe. I thought this was it. that I was done that it was over my time had come but I was given more time to live I'll never forget but I'm still here to myself And I promise I will never let myself go again and Yes, I believe Yes, I believe in second chance Yes, I believe, yes, I believe in second chances. Never really know when your time is up. It can come in any time. We are here for a short time. It's really borrowed time And then we are gone My life flashed before my eyes I could see the grand finale I wasn't ready to go And it may sound cliche But I don't know what saved me now I'm alive But I'm still here And I'm sorry I did this to myself And I promise I will never let myself go Yes, I believe, yes, I believe in second chances. And yes, I believe, yes, I believe in second chances. Myself praise, but I'm still here, and I'm sorry I did this to myself, and I promise I will never let myself go again. And yes, I believe, yes, I believe in second chances. And yes, 
That is Second Chances, the song Second Chances, um, which is part of the album called Second Chances. But uh, yeah, um, you know, I will say like this song. So like I said, this this song is on the album twice and there's a there's a there's a reason for it. Um, When I uh, when I was first when I was first writing this song and was like really kind of unsure of you know, what, what, uh, what I was going to do. Um, let's see, give me one second. Anyway. Yeah. When, when I was like really unsure of what way, what path I wanted to go, um, I, uh, you know, just, well, yeah, I, I wasn't very sure of, of what I, what I wanted to do. And, um, how the way that I wanted this album to, to work and the way that I wanted this song specifically to work. Um, let's see. Yeah. It's just, you know, I, I, I did not know exactly how I wanted things to be, how I'd want anything, things to go. And, um, I ended up with two different versions, uh, of the song, as far as like an idea, like I said, I wanted a, I wanted a rock version and I, and I wanted like an acoustic version. And originally it was just going to be the acoustic version, but then it was like, no, like, like, this this like this feels like a rock song <laughs> you know like that's really what it what it was it's like th- like i was like this song feels this song feels like 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 a rock song um and uh you know i i ended up yeah just deciding to go with both I, I ended up, you know, just deciding to, to do both and to, um, start the out and, and, and I was like, okay, if I'm going to do this, um, it's going to have to be, you know, like the first one and the last one. And that was also in part why I ended up being a 10 album song. Cause I was like, it would be weird if it was like track one and track five, which again was the original plan. Um, so then, you know, as, as the album started coming together and it just all started making more sense, I was like, yeah, of course I can, you know, I can do that. Of course I can add more, you know, more songs, more, um, you know, just, just uh, like I can make this happen. I can make this work. And so, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of how that was born. But yeah, Second Chances, like I said, is a, it's a song that I wrote. Uh, this, this is the song that I wrote right after um, getting out of the hospital and it was, it was kind of my way of processing. Um, you know, I, uh, um, had a lot, a lot of guilt at first, a lot of, a lot of guilt. Um, you know, I, I just, I felt like, I felt like I put myself in, in a bad situation. Um, as far as like, you know, a lot of things, you know, like obesity, you know, just substance abuse of, you know, some, some kind of, you know, some kind of, uh, of stuff. Like I was drinking quite a bit and I wrote a song about, you know, about also being sober, which I'll, I'll go, I'll go into more detail when, when I get there. But yeah, you know, I mean, this, this, this song, the song kicked it all off. And then this album just kind of became so just so much more i think than than just that so anyway yeah that's how second chance is really that's that's how i was born um the song and then the album um 
track number two and i've been live for almost 30 minutes and <laughs> i'm just getting to the second song but um track number two is fly away and this is a song that i've done a lot of times on twitch so i don't really need to go into much of an introduction so i'm just gonna play it I used to dream big and I used to dream wild but did that ever stop me I guess not and I don't want to move on and I don't want to grow up your hopes and your dreams makes you who you are and I That's Fly Away. Um, again, um, I've played this song. This is actually one of the the earlier originals that I ever shared on, on Twitch and, I mean, really anywhere else. But, um, yeah, it is, it is definitely one of, one of the earlier ones. Um, I uh, wrote this song. Um, it must have been like maybe 2021. I was writing a lot in 21. Um, because you know, we had a global pandemic going on. And I think I think that's when I wrote this one. I'm pretty sure I did. Um Yeah, I, I wrote this one back in uh in 2021. And um I actually originally really wanted to include this song in uh Somewhere to Call Home, my first EP. 
um, you know, that that's that's where I originally wanted to to have this song. And then, uh, you know, just, yeah, it just kind of ended up not happening. And, and with, for, for which I'm really grateful for, um, honestly, it is, a, it, you know, it's, it's something that I'm, I'm very, very grateful that, you know, just kind of didn't happen that way. Um, um, cause yeah, I, uh, I, I feel, I feel like I liked, I like this version a lot better that, I, that, that ended up in in the album um so yeah anyway so the next song in the album is uh california dreaming with you which if, if you remember um uh, this song this song already existed out there um you know i i, I do want to so these actually these next two songs already existed out in the world um but very different versions i actually ended up re-recording both of them um, for, you know, I don't know, a, a, a number of reasons. So, um, when I, when I did the original, uh, both songs, I think had very different reasons to get re-recorded, um, and just re redone. So when, when I did the original California dreaming with you, um, first of all, I, I, I really, really liked the way that that one turned out. So, so what I'm going to say, um, is definitely me not saying that that I that I didn't like the song because I did I did like the song, um, but um, I just I was not very in in a way, I was not doing well. <laughs> let's just let's let's just let's just put it at, at that. Um, I was I was not doing really well. I was already you know I was already starting to to get to that unhealthy point that I got before I went to the hospital in July, which, you know, you all remember that. Um, and so, yeah, I, uh, yeah, it's, it, 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 it's, it's kind of hard to put it in words because like I said, I, uh, I like the way that it turned out. Um, but at the same time, I also, I, I also just felt like, like I didn't give it my all because I was already sick and I wasn't quite all, I don't know, maybe like, it's not, I don't want to, I wasn't, it's not that I wasn't quite all there. It's just, yeah, I just, um, I was just having a really just hard time in general when, when, when that, when I did that song. And so, um, you know, as I started expanding the album again, cause it first was supposed to be a five song EP and then it end, ended up being, you know, like, a full album. Um, but yeah, as, as I kind of started expanding it and, and, and growing the idea of it and thinking like, you know, there's a cup, there's, there's songs that I want to redo. And it was those two songs that I really wanted to redo. And, um, yeah, I, I just kind of felt like this one felt right. And I'm actually going to play it real quick. Um, and, uh, then I'm going to play it. So let's do that. Not today, maybe tomorrow I don't know The water's crystal clear I should move, so at least you can see my face The sun shines bright, it's California It's the way of life California coast where dreams come true you may find what you're looking for And I wanna know, did I find mine or Did I find yours? California dreaming Where the sun shines bright can catch a wave together we can party all night long we're dreaming and you could be a movie star and i would be your fan forever we're california dreaming with you with you Today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. It's 
Yeah, that is that is the the album version of California Dreaming with You. Um, again, um, yeah, it is one that I decided to re-record um, and you know just just give it give it a in, in a way give give it a new a new treatment. Um, let me let me actually let me close this out real quick. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Yeah. All right. Whole screen is back whole everything is back um yeah okay let me let me play real quick <laughs> with you with you with you cool yeah so um yeah again i ended up i ended up redoing california dreaming with you which i was very very grateful for um i really like the way that it turned out um again in a way it is uh it is very different than um the the you know I don't know. I don't even want to call it original version um, because, you know, it's because it's, you know, I, I, I think they're, they're both, they're both the same song and they're also both a very different version of, of the song. And that makes sense. Um, but yeah, again, if you're just arriving here, uh, we are celebrating my new album being out. I am uh, just talking about the songs and playing them as, as we go along. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is this same one that I just played the album version. Uh, and it's called California Dreaming With You. Cool. Now 
not today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. The water's crystal clear. The sun shines bright. It's California. It's a way of life. California coast where dreams come true You may find what you're looking for And I want to know Did I find mine or Did I find yours The California dreaming Where the sun shines bright Catch a wave together We can party all night long We're dreaming And you could be a movie star And I would be a fan forever For California dreaming With you With you Swim in the water, blue and clear We can buy a house by the beach Just like we always talked about California dreaming Where the sun shines bright And we can catch a wave together We can party all night long a movie star and I would be a fan forever for California dreaming with you with you California dreaming California dreaming Where the sun shines bright And we can catch a wave together We can party all night long We're dreaming And you could be a movie star And I would be your fan forever California dreaming Today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I want to live my California dream with you. Yeah, um, so that's California Dreaming with you. Um, like I said, we're, ooh, we're only on the third song of the album, so... <laughs> Uh, so we're, you know, trying to, trying to get in there, trying to, yeah, try, trying to move faster. Um, the next one, the next one that we're going to do is, uh, called, uh, what I've learned. And this one is also another one that I redid. Uh, this was, this one is also another, another, uh, redo or like do over, uh, um, Yeah. There's not not really like a specific reason for that. I just this one this one I really really felt like I wanted to do over again, and so 
Um, I re-recorded it and uh, really liked the way that it turned out. So, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Where is what I've learned? And what, what I've learned is one of those songs that... Oh, hey! <laughs> Hello, Rhinos. How's it going? <laughs> hey, Ryan. Thank you for the raid, my friend. Sarah Lightman is also in, in the house. How's it going, Sarah? Good, good to see you. Guys, Sarah has also been releasing some pretty incredible music lately, by the way. So... If you have never checked her stuff out, she's got some pretty cool stuff. Um, thank you for following, Hoagie. Mark plays, my friend. How are you doing, man? How's it going? Welcome in, everybody. Um, gosh, where is this? Here it is. <laughs> Talk about your new album. Jomzy is in the house. I woke up in a car. Woke up in a car. <laughs> Dude. I, I love something corporate. Uh, oh, wait, this is not Jomzy. This is Jazzy. Ah, totally different person, but still happy that you're here. Um, for So for those new new rhinos that are uh, first time here, uh, I am Luis. I am a singer-songwriter from uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, yeah, I see that now. <laughs> See, Sarah thought the same thing too. So it's not just me. It's not just me. Um, it's because I don't know if you know Jazzy. There's a Jomzy that we're all friends with also. And so it's just like, I saw the name. I was like, oh, Jomzy's here. But then I was like, wait, no. Anyway, glad that there is another uh, um, something corporate fan here um, like myself. Clearly, I'm a fan. <laughs> I actually went so um so they had a, a reunion show in Anaheim, California, um, for New Year's Eve and um my wife and I won tickets. Not like one it's not like like we won tickets because we still have to pay for them, but they had like a lottery that like, because they had limited room and so uh you know like you had to sign up and put in your 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 credit card information and then yeah, then we ended up going to the concert which is pretty cool uh we got to celebrate new year with something corporate which was amazing it was super fun really really great show i have videos of it on my uh instagram and tiktok so it was super fun you have to scroll back to january because that was a long time ago but um yeah it was a oh it was such a good show it was a lot of fun and so that's what i got this shirt for but anyway, again, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Lions, Ryan's Lions. Uh, my name is Luis, singer-songwriter. Today we're celebrating my new album that just came out uh, called Second Chances. Um, and uh, I was about to play a song from the album. Uh, I'm trying to play every song in or perform every song in order. I am or only in the fourth song. So, you know, hopefully <laughs> yeah, it won't take this long in between each song. But uh, thank you for being here, everybody. Um, and also, this album is on all of the places. So exclamation album will pull it up. Um, I know not everybody's a Spotify person. Not everybody's an Apple Music person. Not everybody's a Bandcamp person. So there's like, you know, there's options. Um, but if you click on the link in the chat uh, right here, this little corner right here, um, it'll show you not everywhere, it, Cause it's still going to take a couple days for it to populate. Um, you know, finally it'll show you different places that the albums online and, uh, yeah. So I'm going to do one that's called what I've learned. This song had actually been previously released as a single. Like it was the second single I ever did. Um, and it is one that I just really wanted to re-record. So the version in the album is very different than the version that was a single. So, um, this one was that I, I feel like this one I kind of redid like from scratch and I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. So this is track number four. It's what I've learned. i 
is uh what i've learned and then in parentheses what actually i need to update that on the uh song list um because i added a parentheses to it uh it's what i've learned life uh life goes on um yeah and uh like i said this was a song that actually i had previously released as a single and then just kind of decided to rework it rehash it and I'm really happy with the way it turned out, actually. Ah, oh, thank you for the Eddie claps. Um, <laughs> appreciate that. Um, also, I totally love that Sarah was like, I just got inspired to write something. So that's really cool. Um, that's, you know, something you don't hear every day. You're like watching and listening to someone and then they're then they're like, ah, oh, yeah, let's uh, I'm going to write something. Jazzy, have a great night. Thank you. Thank you for being here as you sleep. <laughs> so I'm sure someone will paint me blue from punk rock princess. And I want to save you just me and the moon. Constantine. Ah, one of my goals this year, Jazzy, is to learn Constantine because I love that song. Um, I got some something corporate. uh. Uh, and some Jack's mannequin and uh, like 
on my regular song list. But of course, tonight tonight is not a uh, tonight is not a uh, you know covers night is an originals night. Um, ah, thank you so much, Brown Eye Girl. Thank you, thank you very much. You gotta head out to no problem. I know it's late for some of y'all in the East Coast, so totally get it. Uh, do it. It's so good. I know. I love Constantine. Um, Constantine is definitely one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, so in, in that concert that I said that, I that I went to, um, uh, they did, or well, Andrew McMahon did Constantine at midnight, like right after, right after midnight's right, right. When it was like, you know, from the old year to the new year, they did like, you know, like a countdown. And then after that, he started playing Constantine and that was, man, that was amazing. <laughs> that was that was so good um super fun i always love it when other people are also uh big something corporate fans because it's one of my favorite bands so i always always love that um cool so i'm not your star oh i love it hey thank you for the follow rimsky 80 or was it rimsky well, however it is, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, that that shows up as my cat, Callie. I have two cats and one dog. Callie is the the, the queen of the home. Uh, thank you again for the follow, Jazzy. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm hope that you know you'll catch me again sometime. But uh, enjoy your sleep and uh, Rimsky Rimsky, eighty four. Not sure how you pronounce it, but thank you for being here. Um, we're celebrating, uh, my new album, which gosh, I always get this wrong. It's right here, right here. Second chances. Um, I can actually make this a little bit bigger. Hey, from Russia. Cool. Well, good to see you. Good to see you. So this is, this is the album cover of second chances. Um, and you can find the album now on all streaming platforms. Oops. Maybe let's let's keep it like that. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, you you can find it on all streaming platforms: uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music. Uh, I heard Deezer is pretty big in some parts of the world. Um, Title. I've never been on that one either, but apparently that's the one one of the ones that it's in there. Of course, it's on Bandcamp. It's actually been on Bandcamp for a whole week. So uh, yeah, it's 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 been it's been there for a week. This next one I'm going to do is uh, called Burgers and Fries. No one tells you how to make friends when you've grown up. Um, this is a song, actually, I released this song as a single back in February um, because I really wanted this song to be a single. It just felt right. Um, and uh, I'm really glad I'm really glad I'm really glad that I released it as a single because because it's had some good traction online and uh, it's it's definitely one of my favorite as far as like production comes songs that i've done so this is burgers and fries no one tells you how to make friends when you've grown up which is very true i'd wish we'd talk more often but our lines don't really cross anymore and no one tells you how to make friends when you've grown up and I miss all the late nights we spend watching my last It's dumb, so dumb Because someday old friends become Just a faded memory And you don't want to call Cause no one does that these days Oh. 
all the days that we go out for burgers and fries and we laugh because our problems seem so big but they weren't no they weren't because someday old friends become just a faded And no one tells you how to make friends when you've grown up, grown up. Longing for a time when life was less busy and you could live carefree. That's Burgers and Fries, uh, formerly once known as Faded Memories, um, which is really interesting. That was the name of that of this song for a while for no real reason. Um, Burgers and Fries was the original like working title of this song. But for some reason, I think at one point I was like, that name makes no sense. It's kind of dumb. And then I was like... Actually, calling it burgers and fries is act, like it's actually pretty great. I uh, I really really like that name a lot for this song. So, yeah. Um, then it went back to being burgers and fries, and then it became burgers and fries. No one tells you how to make friends when you've grown up, which is a mouthful, by the way. And it is, it's a lot to say <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> um, which is why I, sometimes I just call it burgers and fries because that's so much easier. Um. Yeah. Cool. So we're about halfway through the album. We've actually moved a little bit. Um, this next one, um, actually, let's see. No, 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 no. I'll do it. I'll do that. I'll do that for the next one. I've been, there's been a few songs that I've been like playing on the stream. Um, like the, like the actual track from the album. Um, but I want to save it for the next one. Cause the next one I think is just really beautiful the way that it came out. But, um, this one is called, uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico. And it is a song that I wrote about the city that I live in. And, uh, um, the place I live in is called Las Cruces in the state of New Mexico. New Mexico is, uh, known for a lot of things, including, uh, really good Mexican food. That's the, you know, that, that's one of my favorite things about it. Um, I know I'm doxing myself, right? <laughs> um, really, really good food. Um, but also, uh, you know, beautiful mountains, beautiful scenery, beautiful desert landscapes, which is something that, you know, when I first moved here, um, like almost 20 years ago, I've lived here almost 20 years, which is crazy. All my adult life, I've lived here pretty much. Um, you know, it was something that took a while to get used to. Like, I would be like, man, there's just brown everywhere. Like, it's just dirt. But now I'm like, no, like, it's precious. Um, all land and all landscapes, I think, are just really, really beautiful. Um, and sometimes you get to a point where you just really appreciate the land and, and the history of the land. And so I wrote this song um, about Las Cruces and how, uh, you know, like, I have tried... There, there, there was, there was a, there was a season in my life, uh, where I really wanted to leave 
more than once. And for some reason, it just never worked out. Like jobs never lined up, opportunities never lined up, and jobs and opportunities end up still happening here. So, uh, you know, I, I met my wife here um, in Las Cruces. She's from here. And, you know, we we bought a house about 10 years ago, which I'm very grateful for because the housing market is horrible right now. And I'm really glad that we bought our house when we did, even though we're kind of stuck because we can't really afford to live anywhere else at this point. But that's that's a whole nother thing. The economy sucks. That's a whole nother story for another day. But anyway, um, yeah. And so this this place, this place is just, you know, it's it's home. It's home. Mark, have a great night, my friend. Take care. Yes, you can listen. Listen to it anytime you want. You know, there's really, you know, there's no good or bad time to listen. Listen anytime, my friend. Thank you for being here and for hanging out and stopping by and just just being a pal. But yeah, Las Cruces, New Mexico. It's a song about the place I live in and coming to, I think just coming to accept it as, as I really love this place a lot. So here we go. And again, the album is on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Amazon, Bandcamp. It's on all kinds of places. Um, And in fact, you know, since Mark Plays is leaving, exclamation point album will pull up the link in the chat. So, um, yeah. Screw 
Anyway, that is a song about Las Cruces, about doxing myself. Um, <laughs> you know, interestingly enough, I think it was a couple years ago. There was a local songwriting contest um, that like, I think like the, the, like the, I don't know, like the tourism department within like the city put together. Um, and, you know, people submitted like their songs and it was like supposed to be like about the city. And so at, at the time I kind of missed the opportunity so I hope they do it again sometime so I can submit this song because I feel like this would be like a good song to submit to that. Um, but a friend of mine won, which was pretty cool. Um, and uh, and his song was really good, too. So, I, you know, but it's just it's one of those things that, 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 I, that I was like, man, like I should have done that. But this song didn't exist two years ago, though. This song, I wrote this song last year, <laughs> so it didn't exist two years ago. Um but like, and, and you know, it's funny cause it's like, as I was writing this song, I was remembering this because I remember I found out like too late. Um, what is also called Las Cruces or he come up with a different name. I don't, to be honest, I don't remember what he called it. And I don't even think, uh, yeah, but yeah, my friend is a, a he, his name, his name is Taylor, not like Taylor Swift, like Taylor, like that's his name. I know, really confusing, but, um, yeah, he, he, he ended up winning or either winning or he came in second place. Um, I don't think he ever like actually released that song, which I think would have been great, but yeah, you know, I mean, if uh, the opportunity ever comes, I will, you know, why not? Right. Life is, life is only short. All right. So this next one, um, I need to find a better place for me so that like my face is not covered but um I've, I've done this with a couple other songs um but i really wanted to do this because i think ryan especially you're probably you are probably really gonna like this if you haven't heard this song yet the next one i'm gonna do is there's a light in the darkness and um this song so this is a song that i wrote for the new tune showcase um, in December. Um, and if you heard Irene Pena's latest song, uh, called light in, in, in the darkness, her song came from that same new tune showcase. And so Irene and I refer to this song as that we refer to that new tune showcase as, as a cry corner corner new tune showcase. Cause everybody had like very emotional songs. Um, and so, um, there's a light in the darkness actually is a song that I wrote, um, it was a song I wrote after writing Dear Friend, which is also in the album. And if you recall, I wrote that song about, you know, uh, my, my very, very dear friend and mentor and guitar teacher that passed away last year. And so There is a Light in the Darkness was a song that I wrote right after it. And, um, you know, it's just, it, it, it's just, it's a song that I just, I, I wanted something that, that was kind of happy, um, uh, but also, you know, like was just emotional and so that's how this song turned out and um so there's a light in the darkness yeah it's just it's it's kind of more like a happy song um but uh the fun twist is that uh this was back in uh, i don't remember it might have been Jan like january maybe um i started talking to uh or, you know uh, I made a new friend on Instagram and threads by the name of Connor Edwards. And he's a music producer and he reached out to me one day and was like, Hey, um, we should work on something together. I'm like, I, I think I had mentioned that I was like working on an album. He's like, do you have anything like, you know, that would be cool for me to do? And, and, uh, and I was like, you know, like, so I really want this song to have piano, but I don't know how to play the piano. I, I, I was like, could you, like, if I send you like the chords and like, you know, just like, like a guitar demo, like, could you work with that? And he's like, yeah, sure. And so he did, he delivered like this beautiful piano piece. And so, um, you know, in the album, I made it like featuring Connor Edwards. Cause you know, he literally wrote the, you know, the music for the album version. So I wanted to play that real quick. Um, let me know if you can hear this. Cause I feel like there was like, like, sound problems earlier. Oh, 
Seems to be fine. Awesome. I wish I could play piano. There's a light, there's a light, there's a light that never fades in the darkness. There's a light, there's a light, there's a light, there's a light that always shines in the darkness. There's a light, there's a light. There's a light that always shines in the darkness. There's a light. Anyway, so that is the album version of this song. And like I said, I uh, I really, really, really like it a lot. Um, this is honestly... I don't want to call it my favorite song of the album because it's not, but it's definitely like top. It's one of it's one of my favorites. Um, I really really like it a lot. Um, and again, I'm super super grateful. Oh, let me take this screen off. Um, <laughs> I'm super super grateful for Connor. Um, let me real quick. Let me throw his his um, his stuff. Here's the Spotify. Let me let me let me put it in in the chat. But he he has he has some really really good stuff. He does mostly like Christian country music. Um, does he have a website here listed? Where is it? Um, he has an Instagram, but I'm sure that he has like a website also because I feel like everybody everybody seems to have. Well, anyway. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's a Spotify. Um, but yeah, he, he does mostly, he does mostly country, kind of like country contemporary mixed with like Christian kind of a little bit. Uh, but he's not a Christian artist. He just does like every now and then he'll have like a Christian sounding song, if that makes sense. Kind of like Switchfoot or like, you know, like, like some, some of those kind of bands. Um, but really, really cool guy. Hey, welcome back, Sarah. Welcome back. I 
am excited. Okay, now you need to tell us about the song that you felt inspired to write, because I think we all want to know about it. <laughs> no pressure, also, because you know I know sometimes we got to keep something secret, but um, yeah. So anyway, check out my friend Connor. Uh, his his info's in the chat uh, right here. Actually, that is him right there. That is his info right there. Uh, I am terrible at pointing at the chat, but, um, <laughs> oh, you didn't write lyrics yet. That's okay. That's, Hey, that's totally cool. Um, I think that's awesome. You were like, Hey, I, I got, I'm inspired. I'm going to go write right now. That is, that is a discipline that I need to learn because I'll be like, I'm inspired. And then I'm like, I'll go, I'll come back to it later. And then I just don't. So <laughs> kudos to you. But, um, yeah, this song, like I said, I have it, you know, featuring, uh, Connor Edwards in the album and definitely go check him out. He is a super cool dude and has really good music. And, um, again, I'm super grateful that he wanted to be a part of my little album project. Um, and we're, we're already talking about collaborating again. Um, so this is not the last that you'll see of me and Connor. I'm sure we'll end up doing something together again. Cool. So, but now, now I get to play the song or actually, you know, I get to like sing it. So this is, there's a light in the darkness as performed by me from the cry corner day with Irene Peña in the new tune showcase. You can run and you can hide You can be who you want to be Only if you want You can choose to be completely miserable Choose to be free And it's alright It's alright there's a light, there's a light, there's a light that never fades in the darkness. There's a light, there's a light, there's a light, there's a light that always shines in the darkness. There's a light. And my mama always told me I could be who I want And I believed it Oh yes I did And if there's one thing I've learned in all my years on earth Is be happy And don't hide it But there's a light, there's a light there's a light that never fades in the darkness There's a light And there's a light, there's a light There's a light that always shines in the darkness There's a light there 
a light, there's a light that never fades in the darkness. There's a light. That is, there is a light in the darkness. Um, yeah, that was a like that was a very that was a very emotional uh new tune showcase <laughs> where this one came out and then yeah as you said Sarah Sarah Irene Irene also just released a new song um I believe her I believe her, believe her new song is on Bandcamp um and hers is called Light in the Darkness which was the that was the prompt that we got for the new tune showcase um and uh it was just man it was a it was an emotional day like <laughs> it was an emotional day um yeah, it was a really emotional day. Um, cause, uh, dream on also wrote a really good song about like the Israel and Palestine situation. And, and that was also, that was also very emotional. Like everybody that participated that week was like, well, I don't know what it was. Something was in the air that we just all were full of like feelings and emotions and just, just things going on in life. That's how life is sometimes, right? You know, like sometimes life, sometimes life is crappy and sometimes life is hard. And, you know, but whenever, when, whenever we, whenever we go through things in life, like that gives us like some of the, some of the, some of the best stuff. <laughs> I think, oh, she's having her anniversary, Irene or Dree or or Dre, because then that gives me an idea of whenever we go raid, we can we can go raid if they're either of them are on, you know, we could go raid them. But um, that's good to know. Know that that is that is good information to have. Um, cool. So the next song in the album is also. Oh, Dree is having, oh, her four-year anniversary. Eee. You know, it's funny. We're all kind of getting there. <laughs> I missed my three-year celebration because that's when I was, like, recovering from having been sick. So I never technically did a three-year anniversary. So whenever I get to my four years, it's going to be f three and four combined. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But, yeah, I somehow, I missed it. I <laughs> so I had a lot of other I had other things going on in life <laughs> and so I didn't get to celebrate it. But um the next song is uh next song is sober and um so I'm this is something I'm I'm actually really proud of um and you know I will I will preface this by saying that I never consider myself an alcoholic. I never considered myself like some somebody that that you know abused substances, but I definitely, I definitely drank a lot more than socially, especially, especially towards like you know before landing in the hospital last summer, um, and so I have been sober for almost a year, um, which is which is really cool, and it's also really it's it's interesting, um, it's you know it's not something I ever thought I would do, you know like. But I definitely, you know, like I, like I said, I feel like I was never, I was never an alcoholic. Um, I was never an addict, but I definitely consumed, you know, more than socially. Um, and it's really interesting because I, I, uh, last year, I remember seeing like this conversation, uh, this discourse online and yep. Yeah, exactly. Ryan. I think you've been drinking a little, a little less than I have or you've been not drinking a little less than I have. But um, I saw this conversation online about, it was another artist that wrote a song about, about her sobriety. And, you know, she, she, she was really afraid or really just not wanting to release it for a while because she didn't, she felt like she never, she felt like she never had a problem either. And she felt like the, you know, like, like, you know, she didn't binge drink or, you know, she didn't like lose her house in her life or, you know, like the things that sometimes happen whenever people hit rock bottom. But the thing is, I think the thing about sobriety that I've, that, that I've learned, oh no, Sarah, that's totally fine. <laughs> like I also don't judge when people do it. I, I did it for health reasons, really. Um, I did it for health reasons. And, you know, like, I, you know, a lot of my friends drink and I'll go out with them and I'll order like a Sprite or, um, I've learned that like virgin cocktails are like really good cause you get like all of the sweetness and all of like the fruitiness, but you don't, but like none of the alcohol in it, which is like pretty good. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah. So, 
you know, there's there's kind of like this stigma sometimes that people have of like, oh, like, you know, why would you talk about like being sober, or not drinking like you never had a problem? And it's like, that's not true. Like, you know, like a, a lot of times, like I know I coped with a lot of things like through drinking and through, you know, occasional consumption consumption of cannabis because it's legal in my state and so you know i just i kind of and, and it wasn't like it wasn't bad but it was you know i was definitely doing doing more than i should have um and a lot of it was just really just you know just coping and finding finding different ways to cope so yeah it started as a health thing health thing but then i decided i wasn't all that interested in drinking anymore save money save calories save the headaches save hangovers that's true and that was kind of my case too you know because like of course like i went to the hospital with you know like congestive heart failure and so like of course everybody was like don't drink like that's really bad for you <laughs> and and your heart and your and your you know like your like your blood pressure but then like you know as i started like eating healthy like i've lost like 70 pounds six between 60 and 70 pounds since last summer which is a lot um and um Honestly, all of it just came from like different life choices and different food and drinking and just different, just different choices. I haven't even become more active. Like I've pretty much the same as I was before. Like I'm not super active, but you know, a lot of it is just, yeah, it's just, you know, learning to eat well and being consistent. Of course, the holidays kind of threw a wrench at me because, you know, you have all that really good Thanksgiving and Christmas food, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, so so you know, I'm 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 getting I'm getting back to it. Um and not drinking was kind of one of those things that came like as um as a part of the, of all of that. And so yeah, I uh you know, I learned that like like yes, I don't need to drink. I don't need to do all these things. So that's why I wrote the song Sober and hope you like it. It was a very long explanation, but I've never played this song on Twitch before. Um, so, you know, this feels like an introduction to it. <laughs> Never thought I had a problem Cause I convinced myself Self-medicated when I couldn't deal With the thoughts inside my head Be 
sober like i said this is actually the first time i've played this one on twitch um which is pretty exciting it's always fun to play like a song for the first time um but yeah sober again it's a this one is actually also one of my favorite songs in the album um i just really like the way that it that it came out i was i'm very proud of it i'm very proud of all of the songs but this is one that I'm just very, very proud of. Um, and I wrote this song when I, so, okay. So if I stopped drinking in July and we're in June, we're in, we're in May. So I'm about, I'm a, I guess I've been about 10 months sober ish. Um, I wrote this, I wrote this song in January. I think it was. Yeah. When, and, and, and that's, that's why the second verse says six months. I never thought I'd make it this far because I wrote it at like the six month mark of sobriety, I guess. But yeah, um, I like what you, I like what you just said, Sarah. I just wanted to read that out loud. It says, yeah, I think, uh, oh, Davey, thank you. <laughs> thank you, my friend for subscribing. I was reading something that Sarah just said. We're talking about alcoholism. Cause you know, that's a fun topic. Um, <laughs> we we need to redefine the line of alcoholism and just unhealthy habits. The gray area is too big. That is, oh, that is so correct. That is so right. Also, Rahomo, welcome in, my friend. I have missed your trolling for the night. Usually you come and troll me earlier in, in the stream. So I'm glad that you're here to troll me. Um, welcome in, my friends. Davey, thank you so much for the for the 20-month subscription. Um, guys, I'm going to see Davey in July or no, at the end of June. Um, we haven't really planned anything yet, but um, wait, I was being supportive. <laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate this very much, Rahomo, very much. But yeah, I'm seeing Davey in, uh, in person. Um, so my wife and I are going to San Diego for, uh, uh, we, we bought tickets for Blink-182. And so we're going to spend about a week in Southern California. Uh, we're going to stay with my cousin that lives in, uh, in Costa Mesa in Orange County. And so at some point, at some point we're going to get together with Davey. And I think, uh, I think Rahomo, I don't, I think Davey had said that we might see you too. So that would be super fun. You can troll me in person. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to hang out at some point. So I'm excited for, for another Davey and Luis reunion. That's going to be fun. Uh, and Rahomo as well. Rahomo, you're invited. Uh, yeah, Dave, I, I, Dave, I need to talk to you at some point about what the plan is. Cause we're, we're, we're trying to figure out our, our days and stuff while we're in, in Southern California. So <laughs> <laughs> right i'm all about this hope this lines up me too the first was for sobriety the second was for trolling <laughs> thank you thank you for that see that's that's always great you know it's funny because like the other day i was trying to sell twitch to someone that that was like on threads asking about like streaming and where she should stream and then me and Alana and Maddie both came in and were like Twitch you need to do Twitch that's the place you need to go but then it's like I should have been like man I should warn this person about all of the trolling that happens on Twitch which is which is also fine right you know like like we 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 all, we all laugh with each other and that's part of that's part of being in community with people is just you know just laughing and having fun what is trolling okay <laughs> trolling i'm going to tell you what it is i'm going to google the definition of trolling watch let's see what google says according to trolling wait this is weird. It says carefully and systematically search an area for something. That's not true. The, these are incorrect terms. What does Urban Diction Dictionary say? Troll, slang, let's see, Wikipedia. In slang, a troll is a person who posts deliberately offensive and provocative messages online. 
I wouldn't even go that far saying, or who perform similar behaviors in real life. I wouldn't even go that far. I would say trolling is just, <laughs> what is this emote? <laughs> So, uh, Sarah, we, <laughs> so, so my wife is Italian and she loves making pasta. And so she started calling herself pasta wife. And, and so, so I made her an emote. It's like a, like a wedding ring and like, like, like pasta in the middle. <laughs> so it's, it's a, it's a pasta wife emote. That's what it is. <laughs> Uh, too funny. Big props and all following with your, thank you. Thank you so much, Davey. Thank you. Yeah. We, 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 yeah, we, you know, we were just talking about that and just how, you know, like it's, and it's true when it comes to sobriety, like there's, there's just, there's so much more than just not drinking, you know, like it's, you know, it's coping mechanisms and it's just, it's, it's a lot of things. And so I don't know. I've, I've learned about, you know, just, I've learned a lot about myself and a lot about like how I handle pressure and like, you know, like pressure from work and situations and stuff. And so, yeah, it just, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting how the world works, how the world works. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is a really sad song and I may or may not cry. I am, I am trying really hard to not cry every time I play this song. So Dear Friend, uh, Dear Friend is a song that, and I actually released this song as a single last year. So you probably all heard it at some point, uh, but it is it is part of the album. And uh, yes, it is Dear Friend. Um, this is a song that I wrote in honor of Kay Hernandez. Uh, Kay, oh wait, the pasta may be a big factor of their marriage. <laughs> You know, there is a whole story behind that, Ryan. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's a whole story behind. So when we were first dating, let me just let me just tell this story really quick. When we were first dating, the first dish that my wife ever made for me was chicken carbonara. And it was it was delicious. Oh, it was so good. Chicken carbonara was like the very, very first dish that she made for me. And I always say like, that is what won my heart. And so I think that's where pasta wife came from, to be honest. Like I, I'm not entirely sure where, like when, when the pasta wife name started, because it actually started before Twitch. Cause she, 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 her Instagram, she's changed it since, but it used to, she used to call it, uh, uh, she used to call herself pasta wife for the longest time. Now she changed it to something else. So I'm not doxing her, but, um, it used to be at pasta wife. Um, and so I don't even remember like when or how that started. If I made it up or if she made it up, I don't know. So, yeah. She's, she's super Italian. She's very Italian. Um, her grandmother used to own an Italian restaurant. And so she learned how to like cook, like from her grandma, like when she was like a little kid. And so, yeah, we, we eat good Italian food in this house. We eat very good Italian food. But anyway, back to Dear Friend. Um, yeah, so I wrote this song um, last year after uh, Kay Hernandez passed away. And Kay, uh, Kay was my guitar teacher. Um, she taught me how to play guitar. And she really just over the years um, became almost like a second mom to me and to my wife. Like we literally would like have like lunch with her regularly, dinner with her regularly. You know, we would we would, you know we go out and, and, and we were just, you know, we were part of each other's lives. And then she unfortunately passed away from cancer last year. Um, which was, which was really hard. It was really hard because I didn't get to say goodbye to her. Um, I got, I got like a really awful, like flu almost right when she passed. And so she was in hospice. And of course, you know, like they don't let you if you're, they don't let you in if you're sick. And so I couldn't go in and see her and she died very quickly. And so I, uh, I wrote this song, um, um, for her memorial service actually was when I wrote it. Um, actually I wrote it just kind of coping with her death, but, um, then another good friend of ours, uh, organized like a memorial service for her. And she invited every, cause she, you know, she had done, she did 
over the years, like, I mean, she taught a lot of people guitar and piano and voice lessons. And, you know, she's, she's, she really, she, she did a lot for just, I, I would say like, you know, just local musicians. And so, um, I got invited to, to perform and be a part, you know, just like, they were like, just, you know, bring a song. It can be something you wrote. It can be like a song that reminds you of Kate. It doesn't matter what song. And I, w- I was like, you know, I really want to, I really want to write her a song. And so, so I wrote this one and interestingly enough, I actually did this song in a different new tune showcase because appa- I do new tune showcase a lot. Apparently um, I did this one in a different new tune showcase and it was just one of those that like, there was not a dry eye um, like from the streamers that were on the screen and the people that were watching, it was just a very emotional moment. And so, yeah, um, this song, I released it as a single back in December. I think it was, I think it was December. I released it as a single because I really wanted it to be a single for a while, but I also really wanted it to be part of the album. So it is part of the album now. And so this song is called Dear Friend. And I'm going to try my hardest not to cry because I, I, I feel like at some point, every time I play this, I like, I, even if it's just like I choke up a little bit. So I hope I don't do that this time. Dear friend. I know how long you were suffering down here. I know all the pain you felt, the way your body hurt. And you're a memory in my heart. Dear friend, I have so much to say. Not enough words now that you're gone And I know that you'll live forever in my heart Well, I think that for now I'll just play my guitar and I'll sing Road for you, and it's okay to be sad, and I'll probably cry, cause I know that you'll always be there, dear friend, I wish I could call and tell you about all the things I did today. I wish that you could tell me not to play this same chord wrong. There's times I wish I could turn back. Dear friend, it really sucks how much I miss you. I wish that we could laugh once again. That is happening. And <laughs> Just a memory I'll remember with all my heart Well, I think that for now I'll just play my guitar And I'll sing till my lungs give out this song I wrote for you And it's okay be sad and I'll probably cry cause I know that you'll always be there and there's times the friendships are stronger than blood and I want you to know that anytime I miss you I promise I'll keep writing songs and I'll play this guitar cause it reminds me of you and all the times that we had well I think that for now I'll just play my guitar and I'll sing till my lungs give out this song I wrote for you 
And it's okay to be sad And I'll probably cry Cause I know that you'll always be there Dear friend Whew, it's almost hard to get through that song. Oh my God. Uh, it's always a hard one to get through. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I wrote that song again as a tribute to Kay and, um, I found a different way to tribute her too, which is pretty cool. Let me see if I can show you guys, if I can pull it up. Um, if not, I'll show you guys what it looks like on, you know what? I think it'll be easier to, to show you how it looks like on the distro kit. And let's see. But anyway, I, f I found another way to tribute her, um, Dear friend. No, no, no. I want to play the song. Um, hmm. Let's see. I can't find it, but um, you could. If, if, sorry, if you're on Spotify, um, under like the like the the writers for this song, I uh, I listed K <laughs> as uh as like a co-writer, even though she didn't write this song, I wrote this song, but, um, you know, she was, she was, she was just, she was the inspiration. And, um, again, she's someone that, that I miss a lot. My wife misses her a lot too. You know, we, she became, she became just part of our family. And, um, you know, one of my favorite pictures <laughs> that I have of her, it, it's me and my mom and her together at lunch. And because my mom loved her, my mom was like, Hey, it's amazing. Um, they were, they also became friends. And so it was just, I don't know, it was just a cool friendship. It's one of those, like, you know, you don't, sometimes friendships just happen and a person can just be someone that's just passing in your life. And sometimes it's somebody can really just change your life. So, you know, um, you know, I wrote Dear Friend really for, for that. You know, hopefully people will will relate to it and, and understand and, yeah, you know, find peace and comfort. Cool. All right. Um, so the last song of the track and the last one or the last song of the album and the last one I'm going to play tonight, um, technically it's a second to last, but the last one is just Second Chances again. Um Second chances that like the song is twice in the album. Once at the beginning, it's like a rock version, and then at the end, it's an acoustic demo as a bonus track. Um, and I already did, I already did second chances. So I'm not going to play it again. But um, this last one is called "Summer Rain," and this one, this one's also another hard song to play because I, I, uh, I wrote this song about like just like self esteem issues and you know just sometimes like like the way that you like see yourself. Um, and just like, you know, just insecurities. It's really a song about insecurity. Um, and uh, this was a song I actually really wanted to include. Like I knew when I, I knew that this was going to be the last song of the album. It, I just, it just felt like a final song. And so um, I like it a lot. It's, it's one that I really, really like a lot. And I'm also really glad that it's fine. It's finally out so that I can play it on Twitch. <laughs> Which is, which is what I've wanted to do for so long. This is one of those that I really wanted to like, be like, I'm gonna play this early. But, you know, I had to keep some things a surprise. So this one is called Summer Rain. And if you listen to the album version of this song, um, it, uh, yeah, if you listen to the album version of this song, um, it has this like sounds of water and rain at the beginning and at the end of the song. And I just feel like it just, it just adds to it so nicely. Can't even tell I 
wish that I still pray, but it's been so long. Hold me as I. This life is hard It's like driving in the summer rain Keep your eyes on the road Cause tomorrow is never sure And it's a long Drive home Never thought what life would be like This world has taught me well To never be myself That was summer rain. Hey, be kind. Good to see you. <laughs> you got here literally right at the end um, of the uh, the release party. Uh, I don't want to knock anything over. My cable for my guitar got stuck with something, and I was like, "I am." There's a fifty percent chance that I am going to knock something over. Tom, dude, dude. 
guys, Tom Thomas Tunes, by the way, has also been releasing some killer music, some banger music, some amazing music. Um, yes, it is over now. <laughs> you got here right at the end. Technically, I could do one more. Um, I could play Second Chances again, because again, Second Chances is at the beginning of the album, and then... Uh, as a rock version and then at the end as an acoustic version i already played it acoustically but uh no i'll i'll play one more i'll play second chances again let's do it let's let's you know this is how the album would end so um i'm gonna re-add second chances and we're gonna we're gonna do it one more time um <laughs> give me second chances a second chance yes i will <laughs> <laughs> yes uh this but this has been a lot of fun guys this has been super fun um yes thank you for shouting out tom thomas tunes uh also formerly known as t for tom that's how i first knew him as and now he's become tom thomas tunes which also also like has a really great rhyme to it um my uh canadian friend and awesome dude he just released uh yeah was it a couple weeks ago tom i think it was you released like a new song really 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 good um and he has a ton of really good music and he also streams uh, i still have to catch one of your streams now that you're back on twitch again i um, every time you stream it's been like i've been out <laughs> hey queen good to see you everybody's getting here now <laughs> great to see you queen it's been a minute oh my god so good to see you my friend uh we're celebrating my brand new album for those that are that just got here um let me put it there just over two weeks ago yes that's what i thought i was like it's been like one or two weeks oh um it was taylor no yeah it, no, Taylor Swift Day was somebody else. It was Trina. I was like making fun of her because I was like, ooh, don't release on Taylor Swift Day. Uh, ooh, you graduated college. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's amazing. Um, yeah, this is what happened. Several friends, including Sarah. Ha yep. <laughs> no, the reason I said it was Taylor Swift Day um, was because uh, a couple friends, uh, including Trina, uh, Chakrabati, who is uh, now goes as Taki Taki Trina Tunes. Um, she's a good friend, also from Twitch, and she released uh, a single on the day that Taylor Swift released the Dead Poets, uh, not the Dead Poets, the um, Tortured Poets Department. I almost said Dead Poets Society. I'm like, no, that's a movie, totally different. Um, and, and and I think I I think I told her I'm like, you know, there's a couple things I will not do in life. Uh, there's, 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 there's two, two days I will not release music on, on a day that Taylor Swift releases an album, releases an album. And the day that Beyonce releases an album, because both of those days, you know, that it's all going to go for them. Nobody's going to listen to anything else. Um, Beyonce's new album is really good too. I don't know if y'all have heard Cowboy Carter yet, but it's also really good. I was like, I was pleasantly very surprised. I'm not a country person at all. And may maybe that's why I was pleasantly surprised. Um, Cause I know like some people that are country fans are like, Oh, that's not country. Um, <laughs> um, but I mean, I really, I really enjoyed it as a non con as a not non country fan. I actually really enjoyed it a lot. So, you know, it, it, it is, it, it's a good one. Okay. All right. We're going to play second chances again. This is the title track of the album. Um, and uh it is uh it is the the song that started really the journey of this album um you know i i said earlier in the stream you know full disclosure like i had kind of already started thinking of 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 an album idea before i came up with this one but um you know it's it's interesting because once i wrote second chances i was like i want this to be like an album I don't want it to just be one song. I want it to be an album. And yeah, I mean, I had a few songs I'd already written, um, but I also like had quite a bit that I, I, you know, still, still had not and still wanted to, to write and, and just ideas came after all my health issues last, last month. And thank you. Be kind. I love this one too, a lot, to be honest. I like it a lot. And um yeah i you know it's it's exciting now that it's now that it's like out in the world 
Like it's like it's 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 exciting that it's out there. It's cool that it's out there. Um, oh, it makes you emotional. So I'll tell you the first time I, I so I played this song for my wife, obviously because I gave her an early preview of the album, and and this song made her cry. <laughs> I think it's just because it was just it's, it's it's an emotional one, but um, yeah, you know. So I really I I because uh, I've been thinking a lot about this about this song. Um, you know, second chances. It's to me, it, it's it's a it's a it's a reflection song, right? It's it's a song where I, I I reflect a lot on, you know, just different choices that I that I made in life that led me to the place where I ended up in the hospital at 38 with congestive heart failure, um, but also just like really, it's it's a song of gratitude too. Like it's a song of that just makes me really grateful to to still be here. Yeah. So yeah. I listen to it. Oh yeah, that's right. Everybody listen to it at Aldi. <laughs> While buying celery and cucumbers. <laughs> I remember that. Um people were probably like, why why is this girl crying? What is what 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 what's up with that celery? I didn't know celery and cucumbers made people cry. I thought that was onions <laughs> that make people cry. <laughs> Apparently it's celery and and, uh, and cucumbers as well. Just FYI. FYI. <laughs> All right. This is second chances and then yeah, then then we're then, then we'll go raid someone. We'll we'll go uh we'll go share the love with a friend. I think um Sarah, you had said that Dree was celebrating her anniversary tonight. Can somebody go see if Dree Mon is live? Um No. No, Siri. I don't know why Siri just came on when I said Sarah. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, if Ryan or or someone can go check if if uh, Dree is on, she, if she's on, I would love to rate her for her cel- anniversary celebration. But this is Second Chances. I never thought my world would come crashing down the way it did. I felt the weight of the world and I could this was it maybe it's tomorrow I thought that I was gone that it was over my time had come but I was given more time to live I'll never Myself. And I promise I will never let myself go again. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe in second chances. Yes, I believe, yes, I believe in second chances. Never really know when your time is up. It can come at any time. We are here for a short time. It's really And then we are gone My life flashed before my eyes I could see the grand finale I wasn't ready to go And it may sound cliche But I don't know what saved me And now I'm alive And I promise I will never let myself go again. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe in second chances. And yes, I believe. I believe in second chance. 
myself grace but I'm still here and I'm sorry I did this to myself That is that is second chances the song. Um, thank y'all. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for the emails and vibing along and be kind for saying yes. I believe, I believe too, um, which is why I wrote this song. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much, Tom. I really appreciate that very much, very much. Um, you know, what was interesting about this song is that, like I said, when I, when I, you know, finally was like, okay, I'm going to make this album. Like, um, I decided to make this song, like the first track of the album <laughs> and, you know, and it, it's for anybody that's ever, you know, like released an album or put an album together. This is technically my second album. My first one was an EP, which I mean, a hundred percent counts. I think it doesn't matter if you release like one or you release like 31 songs like Taylor Swift. It doesn't matter. You know, like it's an album and it's a project and it's work. Um, but I don't know, like the fir- having this be like the first song of the album in a way felt like there was just there was so much there was so much weight in a uh, weight on it. Right. Like I wanted it to be like because like, you know, like the first song of an album to me always kind of like kind of like sets the tone for what the album is going to you know be like right like you know like if you are listen to like you know like your favorite artist and you know like their first song is like a very hype and you know very like you know hard song like that's a lot of like the tone of the album and, and not always but in some cases and you know like the first song the first song of the album really is like that's like an introduction to a lot of people um even in this day and age where you know like they're streaming and you can listen to whatever you want at all times like the first song like really is like an introduction of like this is what you should expect and so like you know, cause second chances is a very heavy song. <laughs> it really is. It's a very heavy and it's a very emotional song. And it's one of those that I was like, like, this is going to set the tone for a very heavy and emotional album. And it kind of is, but I'm also just really glad that it's out. I'm really glad that it's out in the world and it's out everywhere. It was out on Bandcamp last Friday. And so it's been on Bandcamp for a week and now it's out everywhere and all the streaming platforms. And I'm just excited that it's there. Um, all right, let's see. Is Dre on? I don't know if she is. Um, I don't think I don't see her on. Unfortunately. Oh, that's a bummer. I would have loved, but I mean, you know, I know sometimes, like, you know, I didn't start the stream on time. Um, but you know who I feel like I haven't rated in quite a while. Um, and I really want to raid, um, let's see. Yeah, I, I do too. I think she's running late. Um, so I'm in between, I feel like I raided Matt Suarez not that long ago. Um, I think we're, let's, let's raid. Oh, 1030. Oh Yeah. 
yeah that that's like really late for me <laughs> that's like 11 30 for me huh <laughs> um we're gonna raid c-dub guitar because uh c-dub is a c-dub's a good friend and uh we rarely are on at the same time and so um i want to raid him because like i said i don't really ever get to raid him also doing blind things Good to see you, friend. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Um, all right. So, oh crap! Stupid. Here, let me let me copy and paste that again. All right. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna do that. We're we're gonna do e either of those. One is the one with emotes. One is the one without emotes. Copy those and uh, let's go raid C Dub Guitar. Thank you all for being here. This was a lot of fun. This was so much fun. And thank you for celebrating. Um, whether you were here or if you were here for the last couple of songs, that's totally fine. Thank you for being here. Um, your support means the world. And uh, yeah, I will be back. Let's see. I'm not sure when. So Sunday, technically, I have a stream on Bandcamp. But I'm having a really hard time figuring that out for some reason. So I think I, I think I might stream on Twitch. I haven't decided yet because Bandcamp's like it's like OBS, but it's like really weird. Like you have to enter like a code and it's super weird. So um, I think I might do that. I, mean, I think I might just end up switching and streaming on Twitch again um, on Sunday because it's also more fun. Cool. All right. Let's go CC dub. Thank you very much. Love you all. Thank you for being here. Um, let's go shower seat up with love. Then maybe someday you can win the fight 